Okay, so we have wind from the blower and we need to get it to the pipes and it needs to be enough for whatever the pipes need at any given moment at a steady pressure. You know that if you ever played a wind instrument, um, we all played probably those little plastic recorders in elementary school. If you didn't keep a steady amount of air from your lungs, the pitch wavered. The same is true for organ pipes. So this device here is called a reservoir and its purpose is to keep a supply of wind there for the pipes and keep it at a steady pressure. In older organs, there would have been an actual wedge-shaped bellows that would have been pumped by somebody, and that has evolved into this device, which has here, you can't see inside there, but there's two ribs. These are the beveled edges of them right here. They go back in about four inches, have a leather strip on their inside, so they can open and close like my fingers are, only if the other way. And then they're sealed here with leather strips to act as the hinges on the outside and this gusset at the corner that keeps it all airtight. The lid then can rise and fall in relation to the bottom without any air escaping. Now the air comes in to the opening here. I've got a flashlight in so we can see it. And we're looking at the inside of the smaller box that's in the larger one. I'm going to try to point to things with the pointer here. There's a metal rod that goes up through the lid of the small box and a grid that opens out into the full reservoir and then this bracket and a roller there with rubber ice canvas. On it. That brass rod goes through the lid of the smaller inside box and then out to the top of the main reservoir where you can adjust the uh, length of it so that that roller that holds the uh, rubber cloth against that grid will have the right amount exposed when you first turn the organ on. So when wind first comes in here, the valve is going to be in the position that it is now. The lid of the reservoir will inflate because of the air pressure. The springs will hold it at the right pressure and that brass rod will go up pulling the whole roller with it and shutting off the grid partly or mostly. Then as you have wind that's in the reservoir but it's not um, being overinflated because this valve is partly closed, as you play the organ and use the wind from the other part of the reservoir, the uh, lid will begin to fall, opening this valve and letting air out of this, uh, this part of the reservoir back into the rest of it where it can be used by the pipes. It's just a very simple feedback mechanism to keep the wind supply steady and then the whole reservoir keeps the wind at the correct pressure for the pipes to use it.